Hello, my name is Lachlan Deegan. I'm the director of the Lear Academy um, and I'm very uh, happy to welcome you all to this presentation uh, with regard to our Bachelor in Acting degree. Uh, the Lear Academy was founded in 2011. We're just about to enter our 10th year in existence. We were founded initially as a partnership between the Cochal Ryan Trust and Trinity College Dublin and the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, uh, or RADA in London, were international advisors to the Lear Academy from our foundation for the first eight years of our existence. The Lear Academy presents um, or delivers six different courses, uh, three at undergraduate level and three at postgraduate level. Uh, the other uh, undergraduate courses that we have presentations um, in as well that you can view uh, is the, uh, the Honours Degree, the Bachelor in Stage Management and Technical Theatre, and the Foundation Diploma in Acting and Drama, which is a one-year level seven course. But I'm here today to talk to you about the Bachelor in Acting degree, um, which I always say to students who are considering taking this degree that they should only think about taking it if they have uh, are absolutely convinced that acting is for them, that they've given real thought to how challenging it is to both train as an actor, but also to work as an actor in what is uh, well, a well-known, very, very, very pr precarious profession. The only way to sustain your career as an actor, I would argue, however, is get the best possible training you can. Um, so if you are determined that acting is the only thing that's for you, this is the course for you. However, if you have any doubts about that whatsoever, I would strongly suggest that you don't apply for the course. Um, the training, as I say, is extraordinarily demanding. It is a level eight course. It's an honours degree from Trinity. It's um, taught over three years as opposed to the normal four years for a Trinity degree because it's taught over 36 weeks a year as opposed to the normal 24. Um, it's the only um, uh, drama degree um, resourced to that level in Ireland, uh, which essentially is the International Conservatoire Standard. Um, it's a very intensive days, um, five days a week, nine to six, in the building, working on your feet, working physically all the time. It's emotionally, psychologically, uh, and physically very demanding and very draining. So you have to be very, you have to be absolutely committed to that level of engagement with the course. Um, as I say, it's uh, full days, weekends, evenings in preparation. It's important to note that nobody uh, writes any essays or sits any exams on this course. It's continuous assessment of the students working practically uh, on their feet um, throughout the, the entire course. In terms of the first year classes, um, all good actor training is broken down across four key principles or four key modules, uh, which is acting, movement and voice. Um, Within each of those modules, uh, we have individual classes where the students learn a whole range of, of techniques that support their acting work uh, over the course of the, their training and beyond, beyond into their professional lives. Um, as I say, all of those classes are practice-based, they're learning by doing on your feet physically um, in movement classes, voice classes, or working on the floor as an actor in, in acting classes. There are a number of individual classes, including Alexander Technique, which supports both the voice and the movement work uh, in terms of the development of um, the students' bodies and their vocal tract. Uh, and all students have individual singing uh, throughout the training, uh, as well as choral um, singing as well. The, Timetable classes uh, essentially take up 10 of the 12 weeks of each term. Um, but week one and week seven of each term, we stop the timetable teaching to introduce uh, a different stimulus. Um, we call them workshop weeks, and essentially we develop the students' sense of playfulness, sense of uh, creativity, and, and, and develop their imaginations through a whole range of interesting um, projects that we program in those weeks. For example, we make a short film sometimes in a week. We stage scenes from musical theater. Uh, we introduce students to Commedia dell'arte, or they learn a series of ballroom dances over the course of a week. In the second year, those key classes in voice acting and movement continue and students begin to develop and refine their technique or the skills that they're acquiring over the course of the training. We also then introduce additional classes, particularly a focus on acting for camera, where all of the skills that have been acquired over the first year begin to apply, be applied to other media, including acting for microphone, uh, which covers um, radio drama, but also voiceovers for advertising and other mediums. Um, there's a focus on portfolio development or the development of the student's sense of themselves as an actor um, and also uh, a, a, a focus on contemporary performance or international or developments in uh, whether it's theatre, film or TV practice. 
There's also uh, an increased focus on professional development, including giving people the practical skills that they require to develop and sustain a career as an actor in what, as I said before, is a very difficult and precarious profession. Um, but we also make room within the second year curriculum um, for what we call second year projects, where students begin to apply all of the learning that they've acquired in these classes uh, in uh, rehearsal room settings, working with visiting directors um, who direct the students in an entire play that's rehearsed over a period of time and presented as a private showing uh, to Lear staff and students within the building only. We cover off a Shakespearean project, um, working on an entire Shakespeare play through the first term of second year, uh, the second term is divided between a Greek tragedy and uh, a, a work from the Irish uh, classical canon, uh, be it O'Casey or Shakespeare or Marina Carr or Brian Friel or others. And then there's a, um, a long form focus over 12 weeks in the third term on a devised project where students begin to understand uh, that they are artists in their own right, that they can lead on the creation of work as opposed to just be passive talent responding to the work of others. It's a very core and important element of our course that students develop that sense of themselves as creative beings in their own right. <clears throat> Excuse me. The third year of the course then is dedicated fully to performance, to learning by doing, by performing in, in theatre shows, in film productions and in the showcase over the course of the year. We produce um, 10 fully produced um, theatre productions which are open to the public throughout the uh, third year of the degree and each acting student is in five of those, uh, of, of those productions, rehearsing for four weeks, taking an opening over a week and then performing to the public uh, for, for a week in each production. Similarly, we, um, we, we make two short films over that period and each student is in one short film. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's important to note that those productions are directed and designed by leading professionals working across theatre and film, uh, and which creates a networking opportunity for the students as well, who have worked with many of the leading practitioners in Irish film and theatre production uh, before they've even left the Lear Academy. There's also a showcase in the final year, which when the students come together and present monologues and scenes to casting directors, producers, agents and others who uh, who offer work to actors or will be able to help the students to develop a, a career as a professional actor. As I say, the productions are directed by some of our leading artists, uh, directors and designers and directors of photography uh, and are produced to the highest possible professional standards. Um, the, the acting students work alongside the stage management and technical theatre students in the delivery of these very high quality productions over the course of the final year. So students always have a lot of questions about the application process and how it works. So I want to touch, uh, give you as much information as I can today on uh, on that process. Um, so to talk you through the uh, the application process from start to finish, um, the most important thing to note is all the Lyric courses um, are outside of the CAO system and as a result are not points based. Uh, all of our places are offered on the basis of people's um, talent and ability that they demonstrate to us at um, audition or interview for all of our courses. So you don't apply to the Lear through the CAO, you apply directly to our website, the www.thelear.ie. There you will be able to register as a user of the website and you uh, will fill out the course application, in this case for the Bachelor in Acting, where we gather as much information as we need about you in terms of your age, your gender, the, your education to date, but also your experience and interest in the theatre thus far, just to frame a conversation about um, what's brought you to this point where you've decided that you want to pursue a career as a professional actor. Uh, on the website, as part of this process, you'll also be able to book a date for your, for your first audition um, for the acting degree, which I'll talk to you about in a moment. And you'll be, also, you'll be able to pay the fee, the application fee that's paid directly to us here at the Lair, directly on the website as well, uh, all in one go. You'll have everything done and your, your application will be secure and you'll be ready to start the application process. So how does it work? Every single person who applies to the Lear, um, which is usually between three and 400 students every year, um, needs to, we meet every single student for, for a first round audition. We ask each student um, to prepare three monologues. Uh, one is a contemporary monologue, one a classical monologue and a reserve monologue in case we feel that we need to see an additional monologue for whatever reason. The contemporary monologue should ordinarily be from 1960 to the present day. Uh, we want to see you working with, with contemporary modern text. Um, 
And then we also want to see you working with, uh, with classical text, with more complex text. So we ask you to choose a monologue from Shakespeare or his contemporaries. Um, we don't, for example, um, accept Greek tragedy or French classical texts because they will have been translated in modern times into more modern English. So we, we need you to choose something from Shakespeare or his contemporaries. Each of the monologues needs to be less than three minutes long. You'll present them to us when we meet you um, at the first round audition, and then we'll have a short interview about why you're interested in pursuing a career in acting, and just to get a sense that you've really thought it through and you know what's involved in committing to both training and working as an actor. Uh, and as I say, we, we, we may ask to see an additional monologue, but don't worry, worry if we do. It's for various reasons that we think it might be useful to see a third monologue. Um, we then score all of the um, applicants um, and we invite the 80 highest scoring uh, applicants through to a second round audition, where again, working with the same classical monologue and contemporary monologue, we ask students to come and do two, um, two workshops uh, over the course of four hours. Usually the workshops are 90 minutes to two hours long, and we're just playing with the, uh, the very kind of physical, playful workshops, taking that monologue as a starting point to see what more you can find in the monologue and how you can respond to direction and to the stimulus of the workshop. At the end of that process, uh, which is always great fun, uh, we score the applicants again, and the top scoring 40 students are then invited to a final round audition in two groups of 20. We work over the course of a full day, um, working with our heads of voice acting movement, many of the teachers, uh, directors, actors, and other artists who work here with us all the time. We'll come and work with the students um, very much as if it was a day at the Lear Academy, a normal day's teaching. Uh, you'll get a great sense of the quality of the teaching and, and, and you know, how physically demanding it is to teach here uh, um, if, you, if you get as far as the final round. It's important to say that many students apply to us uh, more than once before they get a place. Uh, and we often meet students in the final round two, three, four times uh, before, they, before they are offered a place. It's a very competitive process. You need to be aware of that from the outset. We, as I say, we get in excess of 300 applications. We only have 16 places to offer because it's a very small cohort so that we can give each student a lot of individu individual attention and focus uh, in terms of developing uh, their full potential as an actor. So it's, a very, it's always a difficult process for us to choose those final 16 students. Um, in order to help students to prepare for the audition process, we do run workshops, but one day workshops and four day workshops, which is a more intensive experience. Um, and we run those here in the Lear Academy in Dublin and, and uh, sometimes in Cork and elsewhere around the country, depending on demand. Um, the four day workshop is very much aimed at students who are absolutely uh, determined and dedicated only to acting and to getting onto a leading acting programme, whether that's here in Ireland or in the UK at one of the major schools there as well. The key dates for you to, for you to be aware of, um, we open auditions um, every year, or ap if indeed applications, on the 1st of October, and we close on the 1st of February. And we're then seeing people through that period, um, usually from November until about the middle of March, when we've managed to see uh, the three or 400 students who've applied. Um, and so the first round auditions happen over, over that period. Um, we're then ready to hold our second round auditions, usually in early April, and we will have completed our final round by late April, early May every year. Um, want, needing to get that process done, particularly for students who are, are doing the leaving cert, so that it's over well um, in good time before the before the leaving cert. Um, in terms of the, the fees, um, the good news is that the course, like all Trinity degrees, uh, applies for the, what the Irish government call free fees. Um, in order to qualify for free fees, you must be <clears throat> an EU national or have official refugee status. Um, and there's more details about whether, how and if you qualify for as an EU uh, resident, uh, which you can read about on our website or on, on tcd.ie. Uh, in the event that you do qualify for free fees, as with all degrees in Ireland, the student registration fee is then €3,000. And there's a sports centre levy and a smaller um, Union of Students of Ireland levy that all Trinity students also um, uh, pay on top of the student registration fee. If free, free fees don't apply, the, uh, you see on the screen there the annual EU fees and the non-EU fees um, in the event that, that, that free fees don't qualify. We do have, there are supports obviously available to students, um, depending on where they're resident, uh, whether that's SUSE supports here in Ireland, the Education and Library Boards in Northern Ireland, or other supports depending on, on where students are resident. There are also for mature students, there are back education grants potentially available. And uh, there's uh, the TCD finance scheme, which is available to, to all Trinity students via the Bank of Ireland. 
<clears throat> Trinity have a student assist fund, assistance fund, uh, which provides support to Trinity students who find themselves in financial difficulties. And here at the Lear, we work very hard to fundraise for a bursary scheme where we're able to give um, certain students uh, some financial support uh, to come and train here. Because when we find the most talented students uh, who have applied to us, we're determined that we don't turn any students away on the basis of financial need alone. So that's it. Um, for today. There's lots more information obviously available on our website or you can follow uh, any of our social media channels or you can email us at info at .ie, uh, if you have any additional questions. Thank you very much for your time. Bye bye.